OIC of America's OIC Day on the Hill. On day three, OIC leaders met with members of the U.S. Congress on building America's job training and workforce. Here are some remarks from the Honorable Jim Clyburn, U.S. Representative from the state of South Carolina. In the communities of need, and if anybody said, oh, you know, they always say, well, you know, we, you cannot be erased specific in these programs. Look, these are not black communities unless we just said Alabama and South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're in uh, Kentucky and West Virginia, those are white communities. Mm -hmm. If you're in South Dakota or Alaska, they're Native Americans. The unemployment, the last time I went to a, 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 a an Indian reservation up in South Dakota, the unemployment on that reservation was 73%. 73% unemployment on an Indian reservation in, in, in South Dakota. Um, and if you go to New Mexico, Arizona, they're Latina. So if you are directing these resources into these communities where people have been locked beneath the poverty and not moving for the last three decades, there's nothing, uh, no color, no ethnicity about this. It cuts across all those lines because you define these communities by the income uh, or lack thereof in these communities. And so this kind of stuff that we just got to do. Now, everybody agrees that it can be done, it's not unconstitutional. Um, because nobody wants to pay that to the bar. Uh, and of course, <coughs> being that Omega, I know a little bit about betting up to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I want to get out of here. OIC of America's OIC Day on the Hill.